My message to local people, first and foremost, is a huge thank you for complying with the restrictions over the last few weeks. I think, by and large, that there's been a, a huge amount of compliance in Warwickshire. But my message going into this weekend is, is don't let up. Uh, it, it's just the same. We, we've got to stay true to the course that's been set. Uh, it is going to ultimately save and protect lives and protect our NHS. So clearly some people might think, well, I'm tempted to go out this weekend to visit a relative or friend I've not seen for a few weeks. It's the Easter bank holiday weekend. Uh, and, and my very, very clear message is, is to people is don't uh, stay at home, uh, continue to, to be very thoughtful uh, about social distancing, uh, not going out unless absolutely necessary. Uh, and, and that has got to be what all of us do uh, this coming weekend. Please just stick with it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We, we absolutely need to, to stay home and keep safe. Don't be tempted out for unnecessary journeys on our roads. Please stay at home uh, and protect our NHS. We're absolutely focused on delivering good normal business uh, as well as the COVID uh, side of, of things but in particular to the vulnerable within our communities uh, I can reassure you that all our services around for instance domestic violence, uh, sexual abuse, child abuse, all of those functions are operating normally, we are prioritising those functions uh, and we're very conscious particularly for domestic violence victims uh, you know uh, being locked up uh, in an abusive relationship must be pretty uh, awful at the moment uh, and what we would say to them is don't suffer in silence uh, pick the phone up to ourselves or other support agencies uh, we, we will still bring offenders to justice uh, you shouldn't have to put up with domestic violence ever uh, let alone in a crisis like this so know that your police force here in Warwickshire is there for you Well, one of the things I'd be saying is, I mean, everyone's spending rightly more time at home at present, but but individuals that are criminals that would be into grooming children, frankly, uh, are just spending more time online doing what they do. So I think it's really important to parents to be looking out for uh, what their children are doing at home because. Uh, a lot of our children will be spending more time online because they're at home, they're out of school. Uh, and I would just encourage parents to take a keen interest uh, in what they're doing and make sure that they're not in any shape or form being exploited. I, I think one of, the, one of the real positives that has come out of this crisis is, is the public spiritedness coming to the fore. Uh, and I've seen that uh, in Spadefalls right across uh, Warwickshire. Uh, and of course there are vulnerable uh, people in our society, it could be people who are visually impaired, it could be the elderly uh, and what have you. And I think there's so much that can be done and is being done by volunteers and neighbours uh, uh, across our communities. But the, the, the county council supported by the councils has got a, a network of volunteers that are available. Uh, and there is a hotline that members of the public or vulnerable people can ring uh, and that might be if they can't get out for food, if they need a medicine collecting or delivering uh, and I would encourage people to use that hotline and make use of that volunteer service so that everybody in our communities uh, continue to be looked after. I, I would just remind people, I mean we have all seen those harrowing videos of doctors and nurses working in intensive care uh, units and that's made a big impact on me and, I, and I'm sure everybody has seen it uh, and let's not forget that, let's, let's stick with that core message of staying at home and protecting our, our NHS this weekend because uh, that's what our NHS workers need, our care workers need for everybody to continue to comply uh, with the regulations to, to effectively save lives.